There were more moderate conditions on Plymouth Sound on Wednesday than we've had all week, giving teams short of experience on the AC45s a better chance. Both the China team and Greencom Racing of Spain had worked through the night to rebuild their boats. The Chinese all but destroyed theirs in training on Tuesday. The Spanish replaced a hull after finding damage caused by their double cap size on Sunday. The first of three fleet races set the standard for the day, with the underdogs challenging. Energy team of France made Oracle Racing Spit Hill and Emirates Team New Zealand really work from the start. Oracle Racing Coots had problems early on catching a sheet on the rudder. Artemis Racing of Sweden took advantage to go past. Dean Barker was having trouble shaking off Loic Peyron as Energy Team continued to challenge. The French pulled away and went head to head with Artemis Racing at the front of the fleet. The crews decided to split away. The Swedes chose the right side. Go on, go on. The heroes of race two were plucky Team Korea, who took on the big guns and came out on top. Three Britons, an Australian and a Kiwi made up the five-man winning crew, whose results have put them in third place in the seedings. The lads did a great job and with some really good boat handling and as we got around Artemis and Energy with some cracking boat handling from the boys and then we managed to get the right side of Emirates foot on the shift. The final race saw another victory for Artemis Racing, who were taken to the line by Emirates Team New Zealand. Prince Michael of Kent with a chequered flag. The setup of the boat feels pretty good and you know how we're sailing it feels pretty good and we're being aggressive when we need to be aggressive and yeah, all in all, a pretty good day. Three more fleet races on Thursday will decide the seeding for the match race championship. Alec Wilkinson in Plymouth.